There are three needle positions on the Singer Heavy Duty 4411 sewing machines. So there is a dial up at the top and it actually says needle position right at the at beside it. The, the little picture of a needle with the dot in the center, that means that your needle is in the center of your foot. If you're working with a, just a simple straight stitch, you got a stitch length of two and a half. And don't forget, make sure your stitch width is all the way at zero, you'll be in the center. So why in the world would you want to be to the right or to the left of the foot? So I'm kind of near the edge of my fabric, so let me show you what I'm talking about. If I wanted to sew really close to the edge, I would move my fabric so the needle would go right here. But do you notice that the little teeth that are underneath the presser foot, only half of them are touching my fabric. So what if I could leave my fabric touching more of those teeth and then I move my needle all the way to the far right side. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more even feeding of the fabric and my needle will be where I want it to stitch. So just note that you can move it, but I would make sure that when you're kind of re doing regular sewing, put it back to the center. So, and you can actually, here, let's do this. I'm gonna sew, I have it all the way in the far left needle position. And you can turn it while you're sewing, center, and then also far right side. So this won't be anything too exciting, but I am gonna get a, the th crooked stitch as I move it from and get really close to the edge of my fabric. So again, I like to leave that in the center. Make sure your stitch width is at zero for a uh, straight stitch and you will get the needle position that you're looking for.